God's got a blessing God's with his name on it. With your name on it. Good afternoon. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice, 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 and be glad in it. I thank God for that scripture. You know, this morning I woke up and I just, I just wasn't, wasn't feeling good, but I, I thank God that uh, through all that we go through, there's a blessing with my name on it. So I press my weight and I felt 74 years old plus more today. But but I thank God sometimes we got to press our way and I'm not sick or uh, depressed or but I just felt something came over me and it was just, it, it was such a heaviness. I said, Lord, what is it? And I just kept on pressing my way and pressing my way out. I left the house and uh, I kept looking at the time and I didn't need to go over speeding, but I went just a little bit over speeding. And, and, but I'm here and, and I just thank God that sometimes we got to press our way. We don't, because uh, I remember I told this event one time, I didn't feel like, she said, girl, it ain't about your feelings, no way. It's about praising God. So I thank God for all of us sometimes have to press our way. Uh, when we feel such a burden or we feel such uh, out of other space or whatever, but we just got to press our way because when we press our way, God got a blessing for us with our name on it. And today, the word for today is rejoice. And I just thank God for all he's done and all that he's going to do. I thank God for the uh, young and the old, for the, uh, the the young people that's going to school. I, I, my heart is, is just crying out for them that they learn how to be a child, learn how to uh, go out outside and play sometime. Go outside and, and just uh, hear the birds chirping or, or see a butterfly uh, flying up. See that caterpillar before they become a butterfly. Just, just allowing God's creation to, to pull them in sometime and get off that computer and get off that, that iPhone and sometimes just parents just sit there and have a have a talk with your children. Laugh. Just, just let them sit down and laugh sometime. And let them giggle. Let them be silly sometime. Because, you know, this, this world is, it is coming to an end. And we want to make sure that our children know that there's a God somewhere in heaven. And when they accept him and, and when this life is over, uh, we're going to have eternal life. So I just thank God for his mercy and for his kindness. And uh, just parents, just take time for, for your babies because they need us. Um, they need to know that, that sometimes uh, a five-year-old, six-year-old, they, they are sad because they say, um, Mom, she don't like me, or dad, he don't like me. And, and so you got to sit down and talk to him and, and say, why are you saying that? But don't put him in on the uh, iPad or the phone and say, look at this and, and all that. And you come out on the phone. Just, just, you know, just have a talk with him sometime. And he is that little bird to uh, This is national... Suicide month, and there are a lot of kids killing themselves, and 
younger teenager because they don't think that they are enough. But parents, we got the grandparents, we got to let them know that they are enough. They was made because God saw that that parent, that child belongs to that parent. So on today, it's coming from Philippians, the fourth chapter, starting with the fourth verse. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. You know, we we rejoice because, you know, sometimes we're, we're happy. But happiness is when somebody do something for you, expect it. But when we have peace, in the midst of our trials and our tribulation, uh, we can rejoice and, and and know that 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 peace comes from God and doesn't come from man. It doesn't come from going in the store and spending something, but it comes from that peace within, from the top of our head to the very soles of our feet. We get that peace with God, and it say, "Let your gentleness." Be evidence to all the Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything. You know, sometimes we we have an agenda. We got ten things on our list. Uh, we got to do it. We got to do this. We got to do this. We got to do that. We got to do that. We got to do that. But we have missed out on the most important thing. We. We haven't asked God to lead God and direct our path. Father, is this what you want me to do? Uh, I woke up this morning. Uh, you call your husband. So and so, did you, did you hear me? Did you hear what I said? We got to do this. But you didn't wake up and say, good morning, Lord. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Lead God and direct my path. No, we, we're so anxious that we're not going to get anything done that we forget about the one who made us. We forget about the one who will lead God and direct our path. The one that's going to ease that pain. The one that's going to uh, give us the benefits of life each and every day that, that supplies our every need each and every day. So we get hit at the words that be anxious for nothing. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Say, God, is this, this is my list that I made up for myself today. But God, is, is this what you want me to do? God, I, I know that I didn't have your, your name at the top, God. I just got up and started yelling and screaming, God, I got to do this and I got to do that. But God, forgive me for not putting you first, God. Father, show me how to uh, get in a quiet place that I can praise you, that I can rejoice, God. Uh, irresponsible, I mean, even what, when I'm going through sickness and death, God, even when I've lost someone, oh God. Father, show me how to not to be anxious and plan my day and, and not plan your end, God. Show me, God, how to rejoice and, and not be anxious for anything, God. It's about prayer and petition with thanksgiving. So we got to give, give God the praise, the glory, and the honor. Present your re request to God. And then verse 7 says, And the peace of God Hallelujah. The peace of God, that's what we want, which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. So we got to rejo we're going to rejoice today, even though it's Friday the 13th. And man say Friday the 13th is a, a bad luck day, and I don't know why, but over the years, we've learned that if you walk, if you break a mirror, you got seven years bad luck. If you see a black cat run across your path, you got to go back and turn around because that means bad luck. But this is what man said. This is not what God is telling us. A cat is going to run and run. Uh, uh, we're going to break a mirror, but that's not saying that we're going to have bad luck. 
And Friday the 13th is, is a, a, a day just like God has made. So we're going to rejoice for a Friday the 13th. And we're going to give God the praise and glory and, and the honor because he deserves every moment of our life to give him the praise, the glory, and the honor. And I thank God for that. Just like I was saying for the young people, I thank God for the parents, the, the grandparents, the, the great grandparents, the guardians, uh, uh, men and women, boys and girls that that is in our lives that we make sure that they know God, that they can they can rejoice and if they can dance off of Beyonce, they can dance off of uh, Jesus Loves Me. And that was a song that we learned as as, as little children. And, we learned the Lord's Prayer and we learned uh, the 23rd Psalm because uh, that's the way we grew up. We had to have, on Sunday morning before we went to church, my parents, they lined up all 11 of us and we had to have a Bible verse. We didn't understand what it meant, but we had to, we had to uh, know that uh, we knew something about God, that we know Jesus Christ loves us. And, and we had to do that. So parents, it's, you still got time. Uh, teach that little baby to, to know that Jesus loves them so that they can rejoice. And when they hear a song, they can rejoice. They may not understand it, but they can rejoice in Jesus. And that rejoice is, is coming from Philippians, the fourth chapter. And I want to read this from uh, the book. It said, Jesus Calling. Rejoice in me always. No matter what is going on, you can rejoice in your love relationship with me. This is the secret of being content in all circumstances. So many people dream of a day when they will finally be happy, when they are out of debt, when their children are out of trouble, when they have more leisure time and so on. While they daydream, their moments are tickling into the ground like precious bone, spilling wastefully from overturned bottles. So when we daydream like that, it says we are, it's, it's, we're wasting our day away, saying, I, I, I wish I had a million dollars so that I could pay off all my bills and I could do this and, and I can do that. And, and while we're daydreaming, and, and some daydreams are good, but you know, when we're, we're wishing uh, uh, for something that we don't have right there, you know, it's like wasting the waste and we don't want to do that. It says like uh, precious bombs spilling wastefully from overturned bombs. Fantasizing about future happiness would never bring fulfillment because fantasy is unreality. Even though I am invisible, I am far more real than the world you see around me. My reality is, is eternal and unchanging. Bring your moments to me and I will fill them with vibrant joy. Now is the time to rejoice in my presence. So that's the word for today is no matter what we're going through today, rejoice. Because if we keep on rejoicing, that peace of God that passes all men, man's understanding is going to fill your heart with praise. And, and we can, if you were burdened down and down and out and you didn't have a smile, when you finish rejoicing in God, God will give you a smile. He's going he to put joy deep down in your soul. And he's going to let you know that you are mine. And I'm, I'm going to bless you today. Because there's a blessing coming your way. And got your name on it. And we don't want to miss that blessing. So, so we got to rejoice today. And uh, be exceedingly glad. And be anxious for nothing. Don't, don't waste your time being anxious and impatient, but wait on the Lord. When we wait on the Lord, he will give us strength to endure this day. Because this day belongs to the Lord, but he, he allowed us to, 
to um, be in this day. He allowed us to, to smile. He allowed us to wake up and, and see our family. He uh, allowed us to feed ourselves. He allowed us to uh, drive our car. He allowed us to, to praise his holy and righteous name. So rejoice today. Rejoice, rejoice. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for allowing us to wake up in the right frame of mind. We thank you for allowing us to rejoice. You said, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Yes, for this is the day that the Lord has made. And we are always saying that we shall rejoice and be glad in it. God will put a smile on your face. He will take your trials and tribulation and he'll let you know, I want you to get up. I want you to praise me. Don't worry about yesterday because yesterday is gone. And tomorrow might not be mine, but right now, I give you praise for today, God. I give you praise for the breath that I'm breathing. I give you praise, God. Because no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against me in judgment that I shall condemn. So, Father, I thank you. I know the enemy wants me to be down and out, God. But, but God, you came that I might have life. And have life more abundantly, God. So I'm looking for that abundant blessing of God. So God, I thank you today. I, I give you praise today, God. I, I thank you for this branch of Zion, God. Thank you, God, for Pastor Gavin and Lady Lady Gavin. Thank you for Pastor's leadership, God. Thank you, God. Thank you for the body of Christ today, God. I pray for the intercessors, oh God. I pray for the prayer warriors, oh God, that God has laid something on your heart to pray for, God. I pray for Reverend Hall today. And he sent a text message about his sister, Lord God. It's, it's all in God's hands. It's all in God's hands. When, when it's our time, we pray that when, whenever we go, that we go in the name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, I thank you. I give you praise. I give you glory. And I give you honor, God. I thank you for blessing the bereaved families, oh God, as they cry out to you, God, as they, they weep and they moan, Lord God. I thank you, God, that you will, you will give them a chance to smile again. You will you will bring joy to their hearts, God. You will just let them know that they can live their life. They can continue to live, God. Because that loved one has gone on, but if we live right, God, if we continue to praise you, God, that we have eternal life. And when this life is over, and we go into that heavens of heaven, God, and, and we can sit around and uh, hear the elders saying, holy, 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 that we will be there. We won't be able to look for our loved ones, but God, we can believe that they are there. And we are praising God together in the name of Jesus, oh God. So Lord, I just thank you, God, that you said, weeping may do it for a night, but joy will come in the morning. And joy will come, God, if we just allow it. If we just allow you, God, to stir up the gifts that's in us, oh God. Stir it up, God, that we'll be used by you, God, used by you to lift up the body of Christ, God. Father, we thank you, we praise you. We ask you to forgive us of anything we said or did, God, that wasn't pleasing in your sight, God. We thank you for those who are traveling on the 
highways and byways, that you bless them, God, that you keep them covered under your blood, Lord. We pray and we ask you to bless the school system, oh God. Bless anyone that's associated with our children, God, because they are our future, God. And Lord, they are, they are right now, they, 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 they are learning, they are looking at us, God. And we thank you, God, that the doors of the church is open, that they can come on back in, God, and fellowship with us, God. Father, we thank you and we praise you. It's in Jesus' name that our soul says amen. amen. And don't forget to rejoice. Be anxious for nothing, but just rejoice. Because God is going to bring us out. Even though it's Friday the 13th, it's a good day to give God the praise. And I just want to tell you about our homecoming, which is on Sunday, September the 22nd. And our title for that day is, There is No Place Like Home. So come and visit us on family, friends, uh, those who haven't been here in a while. We just invite you to our homecoming at 318 Denmark Street in Goldsboro, North Carolina, where our own Pastor Reverend Dr. Winfrey Gallon will be preaching. There is no place like home. And don't forget to rejoice. In the name of Jesus, God bless you.